I'm looking at my VTuber. It's my old haircut. I'm trying to go back to my old look. Anyways, this is the copy I have. Woo! Got to put it in half price books. I feel like I have a fan who would like it. She said put it. Hello, wonderful people and places. My name is Light You got it. Kidding, kidding. Sorry my model is sleeping. It's a part of the role plays. I role play in these reviews to be a cringy reviewer. I have this philosophy. I, as somebody with rejection sensitive dysphoria, really, really feel a certain way about the things I'm a part of. And I feel like you shouldn't just recreate someone in this time period without a, a knowledge. If you look at how the tropes of the OCs are if on TV tropes or analyses by looking at the more pro a problematic version, a non-problematic version, and the country of origin and a myth, you, which is like the original version you should look at, you'll pretty much know how to critique something. So I like to critique J.K. Rowling and this time period's fantasy novels like The Magic School Bus, as though they are real people with this kind of author, because I, I really tin that very butter guy, you know. I like him a lot, and I say it like this for a reason of stuff. Uh, that's my roleplay character. Yep, yep, yep. This is how I'm choosing to review this one. My character is sleeping because of uh, reasons implied in this book under the moat animal under the puff skin animal under the winged horse and yeti animals and you know being in that world with fairies and pear crabs and montagoles was very very beautiful anyways uh fantastic beasts and where to find them by newt samanda property of harry potter copy of fantastic beasts and where to find them resides in almost every Every household in the country. Now, for a limited period only, Muggles too can have the chance to discover where the Quimpton lives. That's my eyeball impression of J.K. Rowling, the real Bellatrix who is a good Hermione here. What the puffskin eats and why it is best to leave the milk out for the carl. The seeds from the sale of the book will go to improving and saving the lives of children around the world. Yes, this is why I say that you should play Hogwarts Legacy, because she is actually a spy for that shit, and it's time she comes out of the calls about it. For it will do magic beyond the powers of... I can't by the way. If you feel that this is a reason to be part... You could be anti-kin now, but it's not going to work unless you acknowledge that you're kind of kin in these ways, and we do that thing you like, you know. I can only hope most sincerely that passing will... Feel more comfortable, and she and I says, Time to copyright spirits now. <laughs> if they ever see being you attacked by a manticore, manticores are cool, cool in summoning. Okay, so the thing about these books is that this is actually extremely historically accurate as a book to historical, you know, um, Ireland. This is very Scottish, which is very English. It's English and Ireland combined. The Griffin's modern day England, the Griffin low is modern day Saudi Arabia, which is kind of like the original. A bra some branches of Ocelli versions and you know th there's a lot to mythology this is all actual mythology she took a lot of inspiration from lots of things but she made it her own and it just so happened to be very accurate because she grew up reading history books and stuff and that inspires people I used to be very anti Harry Potter not because I dislike Harry Potter but because I'm really weird about copyright and I read books of magic and uh, C which came first and I didn't realize that you know it's like a legacy taking an idea and spreading it around a reinvention of a doll or an NPC player Improving an idea, even if you're not the only one, even though you're protective of it, it's there's more to it than that. So let me read a few entries and then tell you my thoughts on the book. The unicorn is a beautiful beast found throughout the forests of northern Europe. It is pure white horned horse when fully grown, though the foals are initially golden and turned silver before achieving maturity. The unicorn's horn, blood, and hair all have highly magical properties. That's Swedish. It generally avoids human contact, is like old school Swedish, like the founding of Sweden, to allow to which to approach then a wizard and what are you doing? Not now. Okay. Werewolves aren't all bad. The Back in the 80s, they wanted a werewolf metaphor. J.K. Rowling was the person to do it. And they said the person it's based on, or the person who... Why don't I have Sai Luke on this? Um, you know, they, they should... I'm, I'm giving up this book today. You know, they shouldn't have done certain things. But they were a very good person as riddles. riddles. And the, the thing... About it all is I'm gonna put Anaconda as this as a joke so people know it was my copy. Um, you know, it's just I I just think you know that she is a very progressive author who believes in horseshoe theory or is a liberal or possibly even a leftist who likes Schindler because she wrote the Nazis as the actual history of Auschwitz, which was very problematic according to most people until they learned that Auschwitz really existed and was real as the man in High Castle was an adaptation of that. You like that fantasy TV show? 
Yeah, it fucking happened. Look up CIA.gov or Stuart's Memorial or look it up on the Holocaust Museum website. You know, the Holocaust is H-O-L-A-C-A-U-S-T. I believe that's how it's spelled, but I'm wrong about these things sometimes. The thing about this stuff is that J.K. Rowling is a brilliant author, but she is self-loathing and transgender reminds her of wizards or something, and she, like, clearly explains that. I don't hate J.K. Rowling. I don't hate J.K. Rowling at all. I really do like her work and want more people to respect it. And Fantastic Beasts and Where to Prove Them actually has a liberal agenda if you like it. And not many people believe me when I say this, but if so, you study Ancient Ireland or follow Dust Hollow's account, and you use each of them as a metaphor the way the werewolves were used in that book as age, which is pretty well known by now. Yeah, no, it's clear that she she believes in, like, Shinla and shit, and she's very much an activist in her own way. Even just writing books can be a hero. You always have eventually have to do more. But I think Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, regardless of the transphobia that's presently in the books, which was a metaphor for Harry, in my opinion. See, I'm wearing a triangle on my shirt. Was very, very good. Also, I want to show off my full version of my sleeping sonar. <laughs> I know we're talking about AIDS and that. I'm just gay. I didn't know it could be connected like that. That's all. Okay. Anyways. um, Yeah, so go read this book. It gets reprinted from time to time, but in the wrong time periods, it's really hard to do that sort of thing. You know, um, I use VTube Studio to review my stuff and i used to not review this put my links because i'm a very controversial reviewer as brain cake reviews but you can if you want to, if just make some kind of list of how they want to be reviewed and how they want the bad movies they liked or the good movies they hated or whatever kind of movies they enjoyed in a certain kind of way reviewed and i'm just such a good detective i will very easily be able to review that person the way they want i'm reviewing charlie says it's taking me forever as we move butterfly to get to the fucking film he was just an Aztec suffragist. That's it. They just adopted a serial killer who assisted her boyfriend's suicide when he had knocked it up. So it wasn't like that. But he had a family of who, who it was for. Look, whatever the fucking case behind that movie. I love how Matt Smith plays him. I just give you the sketch because I'm told that's not a real review. I'll be upfront about that in my review, Jeremy Johns. So yeah, go read Santa's Creed and where to find them. I find it very interesting and good. <laughs>